Hey everybody, so I got my new Variegate 4 Plus sequencer today and I hooked it up and I've been trying to learn it. It's been kind of tricky. So what I did is I didn't connect it to the envelope because I can't figure out how to get that working yet. But I did connect the uh, Variegate ha has an internal clock. And here if you see it's kind of hard to see the patches. These are the four um, outputs in the Variegate. So what I did is I connected each output, there's four, one through four channels. Um, each one went to my quad VCA IntelliGel on the CV. We have four CV inputs and each input on the variegate I put um, mapped one to one to the um, CV inputs. I don't know if you can use um, passive multis and chain them together, I'd have to figure that out. Then what I did um, so that's the CV channels on my quad IntelliGel, and that's mapping to the four channels on the Variegate 4 Plus sequencer. Then what I did is in the bottom, it's kind of hard to see, you have the input, channel inputs, one through four. Um, each of those I mapped to an oscillator. Actually, I mapped an oscillator to a filter, and then the filter to the channel. So the blue cable is channel one. That goes to my Borg. Uh, filter which is connected to my Borg oscillator. I have two connections um, in you'll see. So this one goes to the Mayhem and this one is the triangle one. Um, so these are mapped and if you follow the trail it goes to the first channel. The second channel um, output is the green cable. I have that routed to my Dofer um, VCO and that's actually the uh, square wave and that's mapped to the second channel um, that corresponds to this channel I believe and the third channel of CV input on a variegate I have mapped to uh, this little piggy goes to market if we follow this cable around this goes to the output from the Borg filter that is connected to the output from the triangle wave so um, I seem to have it working. If I turn it up, you can see the sequence I created. So we go to channel one, it's channel one. We go to track. Divide. I still need to figure this out. Divide and multiply, how that works. Clock signal, I guess. And we'll go to track two. Change that up a bit. We'll go to track. See, so you hear it change right away. we we'll go to three on track. Scale plus width. It goes pretty crazy. And then four. And if we change the filters. So we turn the CV down. We can hear the, each one we can hear the sequence. See that? That's that sequence. Turn the CV up for a second. Hear that sequence. Third one. Hear that again. Fourth one. That one is kind of jacky. So yeah, I'm getting the hang of this Variegate 4 Plus sequencer. It's really cool. Um, there's a lot to it. I'm gonna try to find some tutorials. Um, documentation is kind of lacking. It's okay, but um, it's better than at least on the Borg and Anti-Oscillator. That's the worst documentation for a module. I had to figure a lot of that out. I'm still learning. Um, 
I love this quad VCA. This is really good. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to integrate the Variegate 4 Plus with the quad envelope. Um, I haven't figured that out yet. So learning modular is one of my projects. Anyways, hope you enjoy this video.